All right, so without further ado, guys, we're gonna jump in to the Enigma protocol. So this map pack was requested quite some time ago and we're finally sort of getting around to it. Let me bring up my map queue real quickly and see if I can see who actually requested it. Um, my protocol, let's just uh, pause that a minute just so we don't miss anything. If I can find it in my list, my massive, massive list of maps and everything. Um, we're in here somewhere. There we go. Enigma protocol. Um, I've got no, I've got no notes on this one, so I'm not sure who actually requested this or these, um, these maps at all. Well, I appreciate you stopping by and saying hi, Big Mash. It's always good to uh, uh, it's always good to have people drop in. Uh, all right, so this is chapter one. This is um, one of eight, and um, it's a collection of maps by Night Melon. So, shortly after the events of the Cooperative Test Initiative, a test subject wakes to Glados, newest Glados's newest testing track. Make your way through 22 new test chambers in this map pack. All right, so there's 22 maps across the um, the eight. Let me uh, just restart this because I forgot to bring up the game audio. So uh, yeah. Let's uh, start that again. I don't think you ever made a map with only a cube, only cube in the map at all. You did it. Oh, I almost forgot. When you go outside the testing courses, the only way I can retrieve you is to violently disassemble you, then carefully reassemble. I kind of think though, with maps, sometimes that um, a lot of the a lot of the good puzzles always have more more than one cube though, Atom. I think. Um, and it's um a lot of them involve sort of cube management along with portal management so um you know yeah i can i can currently understand why your any, none of your maps only have a single cube luckily you don't feel pain at any rate you don't have a way to communicate that you feel pain all righty then Two brand new chambers. And this looks very much like Portal One. I'm getting horrible flashbacks to Portal Hello, Edition right now. Hello, again. Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided it's Enrichment good, is it? Center. Commence standing by in three, two, one. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing. Just my, like my sensitivity is like Hold on. crazy. There. Oh, there we go. Thank Please you. test your device by portaling to that ledge. Yep, yeah, we're all good. All right. Non-defective turret testing active. Oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. Which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. All right, this this room is like the layout. This is interesting. This is very reminiscent to the Portal One room, isn't it? Where you do get the portal, um, where you get the portal gun. It's down there in the middle. Um, it's quite interesting that it seems to be a looks like a bit of a rehash of that one. Yes, my custom stuff is back. I actually got round to um, I actually got round to installing everything again. So you gave me. There, uh, anything else to go here? No, I don't think so. So. Oh, it looks like I need to actually do that, don't I? Yes. 
you missed my portal, my custom gun. Well, my custom gun missed you, Atom. What's going on, Mika? Welcome, welcome, buddy. How you doing? How has um, how has Wednesday treated you? Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should right. pace yourself, though. We have a Number lot of tests to two. do. Number two. This one is actually on that instead. Go ahead and bring the cube through to here. Quite neutral. Are you, um. Are you still, um. Are you still at home, or are you back in the uh, you're back in the flat now? All right. Well, we're uh, marching on through these at the moment, aren't we? We're going to hear another cube that's going to come through here. Give me the cube. Here I am waiting for the cube. Look, and it's, I, I totally missed the fact there's an ant line right next to it. Which is uh, pointing in a completely different direction. Bravo. Alright, let's go through here. So this is the cube. This is the cube that we were given. Place that here for now. Oh, and where was the laser? Laser to use in a laser, laser. Laser to use over here. Oh, I see why that's there now. I see all the buttons there. So I'm going to do this and get out of here. Congratulations. Hey, you are better than everyone. Thank you. I am better than everybody. Take that, everybody. You know what works there, Alright, so that was a good um a good introduction there in chapter one. Let's move on to chapter two here. Maybe, if it wants to load. Let's try that again. Next week you're going to an apartment, but you're going to be there for some days. It's quite sensitive area. And, oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, it looks like we've got the same description on the map, so we need to uh, look at these, but... All right, let's move on to chapter two. To start this preparing for human four. testing again, I checked an old suggestion box. The number one request, less, less deadly, deadly tests. tests. That's, That's ridiculous. ridiculous. How do they know for sure the tests are deadly if they could still write the suggestion? Oh, this kind of reminds me a bit of, um, it's almost like triple laser, but in a, an interesting marker there as well. That almost says there's a secret if you aim that there kind of thing. Although we would need to do that to like there instead, but we can't hit. Anyway, um, I'm getting distracted massively. But yeah, it's kind of like a... Um, it reminds me straight away of like triple laser in a 6x6 um, six six original kind of default puzzle maker room, almost. Even though it's not 6x6, six six, but you get the gist. Right? I thought you'd be faster at this, that I can appreciate the desire to stop and smell the testing. That other scent you smell, that's the stench of my utter disappointment in you. 
I was just about to say that there's um, we've got different textures here on walls where we need to line up different bits and pieces. However, that's not the case at all. So we need to do that to get up to here. Yo, Mr. Glace. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Happy. Happy Thursday to you. What is that? Okay. I guess the laser was maybe like going through some weird angle or something. That's why I wasn't looking at that. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Very good. We're working our way through the maybe Enigma protocol maps you. tonight. And then later we'll be doing some other stuff. Whether or not we carry on with Portal or if we switch it up, I am yet to decide. Um... Alright, so I'm guessing we can do something like this. Whee! Congratulations. Not on the test. Most Nothing people emerge one? from no? suspension okay. terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Alright, well we're through the first through the first half a dozen in only eleven minutes. So um I guess this map pack might not last us particularly too long. If that is the case, but we're on to this next test in seven and twenty two now. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Let's go turrets blocking the door. It's fine. It's not fine, but we've got turrets blocking the door. You uh, you started a new one, Mika, or is that the existing? Okay, so I think that's exit criteria. One of. Okay. And I think what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come through here. With the cube and the laser. Not sure we're getting like why well, we're getting like faith plate music or something like that. Oh, it's the one that you've been had alive for a few months. Nice. Okay, so then all we're gonna want to do is Point this to that surface there. Our portals are then in position. Then we can rotate this one. Okay. Let's uh, fizzle this one just so it's. Um, with you may its want friends. to try and avoid those turrets. Some more turrets up there. So we need laser into there to actually no, we need laser into there to lower that. Well, we do that quite easily. So I'll give us our cube and then we can get rid of the turrets like that. Okay, but we're going to want to be up there, I guess. So, let's think about this. If we can intercept the laser like that, we can then use this surface here to open up the exits. Which 
can still see both surfaces from there, which is fine. Fling. One. One. Two. And we're out of this one. Those bullets were a right, metaphor for something. Number nine. Take your time. Okay, well, no, no ticket on that, but this time the laser is on a timer. Um, okay, so what are we going to do here, though? I think probably what I want to do. So I pull there. I pull down here. And I should be able to see there. Excellent. And then we can swap the poles there. Congratulations. Three levels down. So that's nine down already. Proves the humans wrong. They described it as impossible. So nothing Deadly. too cruel. Difficult and at the moment. And one test subject even had the nerve to call it. Nothing too broken. Uh, too difficult at the moment. I'm hoping that the um, difficulty will pick up. I got a. Are you going to be doing a pizza with that as well, Mika, or are you just uh, just having bread this time? These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with Just the bright. sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Okay, so I'm guessing this is quite a nice little detail there with that panel sticking out too. Uh, way to um, show you where to place that cube. I know some people um, tend to do that with like light strips and things, don't they? But it's not always clear as to um, when you can and can't do things with light strips. So I like that sort of approach a lot better. Um, Ace was able to solve all of them, therefore, this puzzle are easy. Oh, really? It's kind of instantly assume that, like, the, um... Kind of instantly assume... I should never assume. That the uh, the cube's gonna like go high, and then when you're prepared for it to go high, it does not. I'm just gonna need to keep the bridge. Hmm. I'm assuming this doesn't like shut. Maybe you should never assume, but I'm assuming. That doesn't shut, which is not like it does. And then we'll go over here. Nice simple BTS stuff going on in the background lot with some of the vents and the pipes. Excellent, and on This to the chamber next. represents the impossibility of discovery when bound by artificial Halfway ethical mark. considerations for safety. You'll see what I mean. Interesting voice line. I think I've heard that one before. I'm sure I probably have, but it doesn't, um, doesn't come to mind. Okay. So we need to do that with a light bridge. Mm -hmm. 
see what we can see over here. Not much. Can't make that jump, can we? Nope. Should they be able to go through there? I think. Spawn the cube, stand on the button, block the cube, cube falls down, and then somehow we will then use what do we need the so what do we need to pull on the light bridge, I wonder? Unless it's to block us, maybe. Does that surface yeah, okay, so that's well, that's for us to block us when we fling over to there by the looks of it. So it seems like that surface um, doesn't extend all the way across. I mean, well, there's another faith plate there. Cube. Cube there. Portal, portal. Everywhere. Uh, I do just want to see, though, where it will take us if we don't place the light bridge. Alright, it just takes us back. Fair enough. Well it's on the way back where it stops us. Interesting note. Fantastic. I only created this test to watch it's obviously glass in like the BTS transitional didn't. areas. That's interesting. You must be very, very proud. I'm building the world's smallest trophy for you. One thing that I'd like to see, uh, maybe in this, would have been like more decorative or some some more like details in these transitional areas, um, just to kind of like look at you know a little bit more while we're walking around. But of course, it is a very minor thing, very minor indeed. So I won't mind about it too much. Get rid of the turret. No. Okay. Interesting. And we can go over here. Although it's maybe not advisable whilst the turret is still alive because will the turret shoot at me? I'm sure it will. Okay. Torrent's not interested. It's interested now. But it wasn't interested before. Okay, so from here. Boop boop. Now we can. All roll down here. Realize I haven't. Oh, there. I was about to say I haven't seen the exit. That was a pretty stupid thing to say, wasn't it? Okay, so then if I'm thinking about this right. Ladies and gentlemen, is why we always save. 
I know the old sourdough starter is the favourite breads. The, the older sourdough starter is the favourite favourite for breads. And the flavours are more balanced. Interesting. I really kind of wish. I mean, we need to. Okay. Let's pretend I haven't put that there. Turned. I didn't put that there. Let's pretend instead. I put it yeah. to me feels like a much better move but then I kind of I was going to say what's that powerful but of course from stuff over don't worry just me being stupid interesting power placement there as well um, wait here don't go anywhere I'll be back I'm not waiting I'm not waiting Gladys why, why would I wait transitional into some BTS just to at the end there so let's uh, let's see what we've got now in chapter 5 it's probably going to be a bit more um, BTS oriented maybe I think after that display we should take a break from the official testing courses wasn't there a laser somewhere Oh no, it was just like laser. It was. Oh, okay, That's, I see. I see. Turret wants to be that guy. Want to be different. Here, let me get that for you. Thanks, Carlos. I appreciate that. The upcoming that. tests require you to work together as a team. Please wave to your partner. Hi. Am I waving to the companion cube? Alright, four one vibes again. Two. What? Laser into there. Laser is activated by that there. What else have we got? Funnel? Oh no, we can infinite fling our cube. So, hold on, am I? Does that mean the laser is like one-time activation? It's all good, Nika. That's another 50-point penalty. Keep it up and you will lose 500 points. OK. 
Okay, so laser is on. I was like, what's that noise? But it's a companion cube, isn't it? Maybe. I think it is. Uh, I should have gone for I can dummy. Oh, it is a companion cube. Okay, then we're gonna do what though? Ah, that's interesting because we need to shoot a portal there. Oh, I see. I can completely see what I've done wrong here. Hopefully I can undo this, or else we may be in a spot of bother. I'm sure everything will be fine. Well, that's unfortunate. No worries, Mika. Now, because I think what I meant to do here is I meant to do, I meant to fling this cube while stood on that platform. Possibly. But I can't. Oh, hold on. I'm being stupid. I'm being dumb. Dum -da dum dum. Being more dumb. And let's just continue the dumbness. I tell you what, let's do this the easy way. I totally overlooked like the, the whole relay. Do you know what? It's not the laser cube, it's the relay. The relay's making the noise. How bizarre. There we go. Again, those That's are science collaboration points, which you should not confuse with points from competitions such as who gets to live at the end and who doesn't. I mean basketball. So is that a dead turret or... I guess I'm probably just use the companion cube and take the companion cube with me. It did say about actually using, using my companion, didn't it? And my partner. It's quite a good way, I suppose, of them um, making sure you take the cube with you. The turret itself doesn't serve any purpose other than to force you along that path. These tests are potentially lethal when communication, teamwork, and mutual respect are not employed at all times. Naturally, this will pose an interesting challenge for one of you, given the other's performance so far. I guess the reason I don't I don't recognise these lines is I guess a lot of these lines are from the from co-op. That's quite interesting the way that that. Um, Quite interesting the way that, that um, opens up so that you can bring the cube through like that. Well done. Here come the test results. 
You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Yeah, like I say, I guess they're um, co-op lines, which is why I don't recognise them. But, um, that's pretty cool. A bit more involved in those puzzles. Like, slowly, slowly adding, adding little bits and pieces on. More and more. Alright, and we're back to regular Don't let that service. horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Is that intersecting the... No, it is there. It's right there. The whole placement kind of makes sense. Um, Alright, so we can actually... I think we need to get this other cube first. That makes a bit of sense. Send it across for a start. Then we'll stop it because we need to use the funnel ourselves, don't we? So we'll now use the funnel and go through here. And then once we're across, we'll funnel that up to that button. And out we go. Avoiding the deadly bottomless pit. If you get here and you need to go back, it's nice of course. So it's there, nicely done. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. But me is that point of control. Feels bad. Okay. Got something here. There's uh A little bit more involved, it seems. We need to... Maybe not, actually. Uh, I think I'm... Never complicated shock horror. Ourselves across here, I think. Maybe we need to get this in the cube first, so let's put that on there. And then we'll put pole surface here. Let's just straighten that up. There's no other way to get this, so let's do this. And then we'll reverse funnel it through. Here. Excellent. Two cubes obtained. Uh, 
don't need that one there anymore, which gives us a bit more wiggle room here. To do whatever I need to do on the machine. We're probably going to want to take a cube with us. So, let's do that. This should see us out. Nice puzzle. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too extensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. All right. So we're going to disable that. Interesting panel. Doesn't auto respawn. Oh, excuse me. So that one is for that. I wonder if before we went through here. All right, let's go back a moment. Oh, the button's there, though. I think it's that portal there, then put that there. Spawn the cube, reverse the funnel. Although we can't reverse the funnel, I'll just push it across there for now, won't it? Alright, yeah, let's. Let's, um, let's try that at least. So we're going to do portal here. Portal here. Go through. Portal there. Spawn the cube. Go over the fizzler. Okay. Now we're going to want to... We can drop in here. Portal there. Cube in there. We should be done. In this room. Hopefully. Yes. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. Thanks, Gladys. All right, number seven of eight. Ultimate chapter. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Alrighty then. We're going to do something like this. And we can bring it to here. Excellent. Can't see anything up there. 
which is fine, but it'll be alright for now. We do need to be up there to spawn the cube. Okay. Alright, so how are we going to do that? That's clearly not what we need to do. Deathwish with the 22 month Twitch Prime subscription, my man. Absolute legend, hey, Dan, dude. Hope you're well. Hope you are keeping well. I might do this pretty quickly. And you only get one blob. Literally, like, I can't get more than, like, a couple of blobs. Um... I mean, I could do this. Okay, I could do this. So I can funnel some gel over to here. And then... I could do this. What about that? Now that I have that there. Somebody want to tell me why I can't use this? I want to just get some more then. You're off weak, man. Sorry to hear that, dude. There we go. Now we can use this. Excellent. Yes, we have to keep there. Nicely positioned little plinth. And we'll go back up here. I made the mistake though, I should have, uh, I need to, I need to get rid of the turrets first though, don't I? Like 
so. Every time I need to bring the cube with me. Let's try that again. Cool. Oh, I thought I managed to perfectly balance that cube on its edge. Electrocuted. All right. Shot. Drowned. Crushed. Burned in goo. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of all the ways humans can die. Now let's continue testing. About to say, interesting that the uh, laser doesn't intersect with the uh, the gel there and uh, cause it to die, but it's only every other one which is interesting. Further than I needed to, but I have a hunch. That we're going to bounce across here like this. I give you a score of 3.4 for style. Is that all, Thomas? For being annoying. Vanilla Moonrock, made from the safest purified conversion gel, tested approved by the health inspection. No. You're on your own there. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Gel here. Or not, you know. Whatever you fancy. And then boom. Excellent. All right, we're on to the last on one. Passing that test. We are on to number eight. All right, now where is Deathwish? I don't know what we'll be doing later because uh, initially I was only going to be playing these, these maps. Um, but this is the last one. This is the last one of the Enigma Protocol. So, um, yeah, we'll see. You are angry. I don't know what to do. We'll, know we'll, I'll make a decision shortly. Too hard. Ooh, ooh. I don't suppose you ever stopped whining long enough to reflect on your own shortcomings, though, did you? All right, the final three. Here we go. Interesting. That they've... I was going to say that's interesting that they've used like a different, um, uh, a different end. It wasn't like the closed-off end, but it's gel, so that's fine. I guess. Let's see why they use that. Yo, Gab, what's going on? First time viewer, or first time chatter. Welcome along, hope you're well. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so... some gel on here, right? Are there any other portal surfaces here that we could utilize? I don't think so. I 
Oh, hey Libby. I don't think I said hello to you either. I did see you were sneaking in. I was in the middle of a conversation, so I apologise, but I hope you're well as well, buddy. Welcome on. Okay, let's do this instead. So we'll go over here. And we're going to be using all three gels this time, I think. That's going to be conversion. That's going to be death. Whoopsie. Big whoopsie. Okay, so now we move this back and put some on the bridge, right? Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks, Libby. Thank you very much for asking. Halfway through the working week. Well, over halfway now. What I like about Wednesdays. Alright, so now I can get up to there. We don't need to move that. There's a gel pipe going straight through the observation room there. Um, don't need to move that. So that's our exit criteria. We live here now. Now we can do something like this. Okay, that's going to be permanent. So, uh, my thought process is now cube up here. Yeah, we can bring the cube up here now. So let's do that. Opens our exit. Now, I feel like we're going to want to do a portal there and a portal there. Followed by... Ooh, do I need to be... I probably need to be on the bridge. Now that's going to be tricky. Uh, well, it, it's not going to be tricky at all. Let's just do this, this, that through here, over here. Uh, I know, I totally missed my bearings. I thought I could, like, go over to there. Um, okay, well, let's set this up again, actually. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Set this up here. Then we will do that, followed by... That hopefully you can get to the exit just like that fantastic stuff and uh, into the BTS stuff here. What's going on there, Happy Orb? Welcome along. First, another first time uh, viewer or first time chatter. Good to see you. Hope you're well. We are currently coming to the end of this, which is the Enigma mod. The Enigma Protocol map pack. Right, let's head on out. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. Morning. Core overheating. Nuclear meltdown imminent. Never mind. I have to go check something. Test on your own recognizance. Yes, I've uh, got custom portals, custom light bridge, and uh, custom gun, which was made by one of my moderators quite some time ago. Seems like uh, an absolute age ago since uh, that was made. But yes, we do have custom stuff. Okay, so I want some gel here, perhaps. So, I'm thinking about going across to that side. I'm wondering if I can run across here, potentially. Bounce off there through the portal, and then through that portal, bounce it to there. That's the, that's the plan of action. Excellent. Mm. 
then I guess we're going to do that again. Although this is almost reminiscent of one of my uh, maps from quite a long time ago. Whereby you can actually... S I think the, the, the correct thing to do is do that again and bounce up there. But... Remember... Oh no, wait. I don't know that. Because you need... So on my map, I had a wall like this that was covered. And then a wall behind it. And you can actually gain height by bouncing off walls like this. Because when you bounce off a wall, it gives you a little bit of upwards momentum, you see. So you can actually get around it. Um, if there was like a wall there and a wall behind me, I could actually scale that wall uh, using the bounce to around me. But let's go back up here. So I think what I'm going to do is just bounce up here at an angle and get this cube. Fantastic. And right. What next? Where are we going next, I wonder? I think we do this next. The only thing is, I don't know if I want the cube or not. Um, I think I can probably pick the cube up later, so let's just leave the cube there. I don't want to get it... Oh, actually, there's cleansing gel. We're, we're good. There's cleansing gel. Let's get myself. Whoopsie! Alright, well, uh, that's unfortunate. I didn't catch the way, but... Okay, we're not dead. Back over. Yeah, there's actually some uh, cleansing job. Right there. So, I think what's going to happen here is we're going to do this move again. We're going to bounce off the floor, bounce back the other way, and then get across to the other side, I hope. Yes. Then the gel will clean the cube. That will open that. That's now opened the exit. This will now open those panels there, and then I guess we're just going to fling out of that one there to bring it home. Oh, Olivia's the master of those. Olivia's the master of those tricks. Excellent. Cool. Cool beans. And we get to run down behind this surface here. BTS stuff. Interesting to her. I thought that was management rail then for cores, but no, it's just for that surface there. Oh. So, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's do that to uh, get through this part. Well, I'm back. This is the last test for the standard cores. It's just something I've whipped up for you. I thought you might enjoy a challenge for once. So you requested a map layers of consciousness by Narco. It's an excellent map, but before warned, it is very charming. Yeah, I think I did see that. Um, Libby, thank you very much. I did see it indeed. I did actually get around to um, actually adding maps back onto my queue at some point this week I did. So that was um, pretty nice to get a little bit back on track, a little bit tidied up. Uh, the plan for this week though is we've got we've actually got another um, we on We've actually got another map pack to go through and play through tomorrow night. Um, depending on that go how that goes however we've um, potentially um, we're gonna be Friday night might actually be delving into a map by uh, Pollock's special request from Mika. So, um, yeah, well, depending on how that map pack goes, we um, could be well and truly in um, difficult territory on Friday night, just as a uh, kind of teaser for you of what might be coming up. Uh, anyway, let's, um, let's tackle this, shall we? Uh, I beg you. All lies. You're a liar. Don't lie. Your maps are hard enough for 
Jesus. Although while they are hard, there are you, you do still get some. Um, there is still like a nice like variation, I think, with your maps, Atom. You've got some that are quite challenging, but then you have got others that aren't so challenging. So it's always nice to have. Hold on, is this, isn't this a? It almost looks like a rehash of the Port Two campaign level. Um, yeah, it's almost like you've got like a. It's hard to explain, but. Not all your maps are, like, really difficult. Like the one we played um, last week, um, which was the rehash of Tombstone. I remember playing Tombstone. I was actually quite surprised at how um, simple it seemed to be. Okay, so... Here's what I... We need to try and get enough height to hit that button. How we're going to do they? How we going to do they? Sure, if I was to jump off here and do this, it doesn't take me nearly high enough. So. Is there a way? Not that way, fool. This way. Is there a way to like go? over in some way. I just wonder if there's like a way to get gel up to the top so I can actually have a like a bounce. Yeah, there we go. Like that. Just like that. That's what I wanted. Because bouncing gives you two extra blocks of height, and we're two blocks of height short there. So, you can bounce here. Press the button. And then, go crazy with the blue gel. Also, two campaign styly. And we're going to save because I don't trust myself. Take the cube. I'm going to do that as well because we don't want to. Oh, we've run out of time. That's, um, that's not great. I'm going to have to do that trick again then. Now we have time restricted. It up. That's a real slow timer though, to be fair. Alright, so now we've done that, we can do this. Yes, it's very similar to the, um, the BTS section in um, the main campaign, I agree. So then do we just we don't just fling for victory here. Oh, no, there is. There. Oh, well, we're getting some frames and some choppiness here. Geronimo! Jeez. The chop is real. Excellent work. You did very well. You I only did. failed four times in this test. Not that it matters. It doesn't. So, congratulations on a job well done. 
Everything's fine. Yeah, it looks fine, Lars. Everything looks fine. Do I blame you for my choppy frames as well? There we go. Uh, I'm not sure what the four failures were, Libby, to be honest. I just think GLaDOS is um, God's just being a big meanie, like she always is. Thanks for participating in this Enrichment Center activity. Or is it over? No, it is. It's over. All right, they were cool. They were really cool indeed. Some nice, um, a nice set of maps there. Indeed. Um, yeah, just a little bit, I suppose a little bit disappointed that they didn't last longer than, um, um, and they weren't sort of like a bit more challenging. I was kind of expecting something a little bit more um, difficult, I guess. You believe four chambers she didn't check were not working? Oh, were they the four failures? Because she weren't, maybe, could be. Uh, yeah, I was um, really hoping kind of for um, a bit more of a challenge on that one. Uh, but it's all good. I really do like that one. So tomorrow night, yeah, we'll be jumping into this one, which is testing a project. It's an unfinished release. And there are uh, 20 individual levels for that one. So that will be um, tomorrow night's stream. And let's say if on the assumption we can get through all of these tomorrow night, then Friday night, we're actually going to take a special request from Mika, which is this one from Pollux as a little bit of a break from the, um, the queue. And then uh, we'll be right back to the top of the list to play some stuff from some um interesting and good map makers so uh, we're gonna have a, a whole um kind of segment of hopefully some really really good maps by some of the uh map makers that we really do respect quite a lot and uh continue to push out some uh interesting puzzles but um yeah for portal 2 side of things though guys um I think that's it for tonight so um yeah thanks everybody for watching i really do appreciate it uh on youtube and until next time guys thank you very much i'll catch you later i've been on keeping awesome stay safe take care have a good one bye, -bye.